is Mate Ball uh, killing himself this preseason, or have we not seen enough? Are, are, are they? To me, he, to me, he looks like he's fourth on the depth chart right now. That Jawan Thompson has leapfrogged him, and uh, Monte Ball is still trying to find his footing, literally and figuratively. CJ is the starter, but very impressive. Understands zone blocking, hesitates, finds the hole, Cuts does the back. cutback. Yep. Ronnie Hillman is giving them as. Gary's talked about, Gary's been very laudatory about Ronnie Hillman, that he's had a great camp. Uh, Ronnie Hillman was the first off the bench on Saturday night. He's the guy that they can get around in outside, which we've talked about since he got here, and we just haven't seen it enough. But Ronnie Hillman does give them the change of pace. You know, I'm talking in cliches, but I'm telling the truth that he's the guy that can catch the ball out of the outfield, uh, I mean, out of the backfield, can... Pick some, pick some yardage up. Uh, I think Juwan Thompson started out camp. They weren't so sure about him. I think when they saw him, that first run he had uh, Saturday night was outstanding. Picked up 12, 15 yeah. yards. Well, we've all liked him from day one, haven't we? So that's I mean, three. Now, I would think that we'll keep four. You and I have gone around and around. You said last week, and I could have jumped you about Monte Ball. Yeah. I apologize, but... You say, well, Monte Ball, but Monte Ball hasn't done anything yet. Do they cut a number two draft choice that John Elway really no, liked a year I, ago? No. You know, that's a position. None of these guys are you? eligible for the practice squad. Juwan Thompson was on the squad long enough last year. He can't, he can't qualify for the practice squad. Well, yeah, but you know how this works in this league. Teams go through running backs like baseball players go through bubblegum every three innings, you know? Nah, nah. Uh, you need depth at running back. And, and a lot of it depends on what they do with those two fullbacks, with, with James Casey and Joe Don Duncan. If they keep them as running backs, slash tight end, slash H, slash H back, you just you need depth there. And, and the other thing is, and you brought it up, I, I don't think there's any way in hell John Elway is going to cut a guy who had a decent rookie season when he was healthy, suffered last year through injury, and now is back. He's a second-round draft pick who has shown flashes. Ronnie Hillman. Third round draft choice. Yeah. So, that, and and a lot of people have had him cut the last couple of years. I, I keep. I said to you the other day. I, I think I said to you, we had the debate about whether they're going to keep three or four and keep two fullbacks. And I said Joe Don D- Duncan has to make this in a very sort of way. Special teams, play some right. tight end, be maybe a guy that you give it to on fourth and one. Utility guy. <laughs> Maybe a long snapper. <laughs> They've given him some looks at long snapper. If he wants to make this team, he better drive the team bus. He better do everything else. But he's got the qualities. I listened to him at practice one day. I don't know if you've listened to him. You, you like his story. You, you pull for him. He's a guy off the street who, who went to Dixie State that coached last year. And he just, you can't, he's flypaper. You can't get rid of him either. He's one of those guys you can't get. Casey didn't do much for his future. No, dropping night, that third down pass. Again, Casey is a guy he's that's be been around. Him, yeah. He's made in the Pro Bowl. So there's six guys that you think they got to keep in the backfield almost and maybe cut a tight end and have Casey and right. Duncan be it, more yeah, of a tight end. That's the way I see it playing out. So a tight end, Virgil Green and Owen Daniels, and Casey and Joe Don, maybe Dominique Jones. They've kept Dominique him around Jones. for the last couple of yeah, years. Yeah. So that's the early. Yeah. That segment brought early to you by Grand Prix Motor Sports. It's your source for the original motorcycle, Indian motorcycles. So check out the newest line of Indian cycles at Grand Prix Motor Sports. They're on County Line and Santa Fe. And that is Mr. Fred on his Indian motorcycle. Enjoying the day.